Operators are often unsure how to proceed in evaluating pipeline spans. They face the issues of either using outdated simple methods that can provide uh, results that are far too conservative on the lengths allowable in their pipe spans, or they can miss things like continued erosion that will increase the length of the span and cause problems in the future. Stress uses both analytical methods and finite element methods to evaluate pipeline spans. The benefit of the analytical methods is that they use relatively simple inputs and that they can be applied to a large number of spans on, a, on the same pipeline so that you can do one calculation to apply to a number of spans. And that way you can use it as, as a screening method to see which of your pipeline spans needs further evaluation. Finite element methods, on the other hand, require uh, more detailed information about the shape of the pipeline. So we need survey information, for example, uh, but they can provide much more accurate results that often allow you to use a span length that's much longer than those predicted by the analytical calculations. The analytical calculations and the finite element results generally only give you a strength value of the pipeline for steady state loading. Uh, other things that you need to consider are hydrodynamic loads, uh, the possibility of debris impact, and vortex-induced vibration due to water flowing across the pipe. Uh, wind can also result in vibrations of your pipeline for certain spans, and all of that needs to be checked. There could also be other factors that you need to keep in mind when evaluating pipeline spans, and we can assist the operators with, with determining what these factors are. <laughs>